No deserts, no forests. There was nothing at all. Until God came. Let there be light, he said, and the world filled with light. Next, God created the seas, and in between them he made dry land. Then he covered the land with trees and plants. Overhead, God placed a warm sun to shine by day and a silvery moon to shine by night. He scattered billions of twinkling stars in the sky, and so the heavens were created. But nothing lived in the world. So God filled the seas with shimmering fish. He added creeping crabs, sly sharks, and huge walling whales, too. Above the land, God made birds that soar and swoop, dip and loop, beautiful butterflies, busy bees, and bustling bats filled the air. Then God created animals of every kind to live on the land. He was pleased with his work. Last of all, God created the first man and first woman to care for the amazing creatures he had. I shall call you Adam and Eve. When God had finished, he looked at his work and smiled. It had taken him six long days to complete this wonderful new world, and so on the seventh day he rested. Adam and Eve loved the home God had given them. It was the most beautiful place you could imagine, full of sweet-smelling plants and flowers. Sparkling streams bubbled up from the ground, and every tree was covered with delicious fruit. It took a long time for Adam and Eve to give every animal a name. Anteater, antelope, baboon, bat, bear, camel, cat, deer, dolphin, donkey.